You guys throw them hearts up. Throw the hearts up, friends. It's so quiet. Being crazy. Frank's being crazy. How was the pizza, girl? I literally took two bites and don't have an appetite. It was cold and so were the wings, so I'll just warm them up tomorrow for lunch or something. Hi, Rebecca. Not me literally about to cry when I was saying my byes. We'll see how I do on the first night of, I think I'll probably like wake up in the middle of the night still thinking he's here. Frank's already in an ecstatic mood. Hello, Kelly. I'm gonna wait for a few people to jump on and then we'll get into it. The vet did not take him. No, the vet, she didn't even answer my calls, girl. Frank is literally like ecstatic. That's so sad, dude. You are mean. You are mean. Hi, Chelsea. Oh my gosh. I'm so sweaty. Frank sounds happier. He is. He's sad. He's a sad individual. The pizza man took him. No. Hi, Joni. You can finally have some peace. I had peace, but I was getting stressed. So I'm on the phone with Josh, right? We're FaceTiming and I literally was like, all right, well, um, I don't think he's gonna go back out for the night. Um, I don't think he's gonna go back out for the night. Uh, he's already laid down in his box. I think he's just ready to go to bed. And Josh is like, yeah, probably. And I was like, yeah, okay. And as I'm about to go and close my patio door, because we were hanging out on the patio while I was on the phone with Josh. Um, thank you for the flowers, babe. And as I was hanging out on the patio um, and came in, or as I was about to close the patio door, um, I hear a knock on my door and I'm like, someone's knocking on my door. I mean, it's not late, but it is, you know, a little bit later. <laughs> right, Arion. And I was like, someone's knocking on my door. What the heck? Brain surgery, Cole, right? Or Kelly, I'm sorry. I told you he was due to have open brain surgery a few weeks ago, if you remember. Yes, oh my gosh, how is he doing? Kelly, message me. How is he doing? How did it go? What's going on? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me, babe. Hi, Michelle. Hey, Shauna. So I hear a knock on my door, and I'm like, what the heck? Who's knocking on my door? And I open my door, and it's my neighbors that saw him yesterday. And I was like, did you guys change your mind? They're like, yes. Is it too late? And I was like, no. Come on in. <laughs> um, and they're like, so we're, we are able to take him? And I was like, yes, you are. <laughs> um, so I let him in and I told him and I was like, he was literally just getting ready for bed. Like I was just outside with him for like 30 minutes and I don't think he needs to go out. So we were literally just getting ready for bed. Like we were ready, waiting, waiting to go to sleep. And they're like, sorry for, you know, wake or uh, coming over so late or anything. Cause I never got their numbers or anything. Um, so they, you know, they came knocking on my door because they know which apartment I'm in. 
and they were like, we talked about it, and we can take him, and I was like, oh my god, yes, that means that he'll be close, and they're like, well, we just moved, we just bought a house, but they're only like 15 minutes, well, not even 15 minutes, 10 minutes technically from here, I don't know exactly where they live, but they're gonna be within the radius, so I explained to them their, his meds, and how he is, and what he does to like go in and out, and blah 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 whatever so he's gone and it's crazy because i didn't think it was gonna happen i literally almost cried <laughs> i was like don't get emotional bitch which i'm sure i'll be sad and i'm gonna miss him but uh they they bought a house and they have a yard for him they do have an eight-year-old dog um it's like itty bitty like a like the size of a wiener dog they said when i talked to them yesterday but she said that they have a vet appointment for their other dog on friday so they're gonna take him to the vet on friday as well and they asked if i have any paperwork and i was like the vet didn't give me any paperwork she just um stated uh, how old he is and all of that, which I'm gonna text that to them. Let me close my door before our bugs start flying. Um, so I'm gonna text them all of that information. Oh my gosh, it's so weird not seeing his little box and his little, his little, um, Frank, he's not with me. What are you looking for? He's gone, baby. Did he get named before he left? Yes, that's the funny part. So I was telling them um, where we found him and like the name suggestions you guys were giving. And they're actually, I, you guys can guess what they're naming him. He's definitely gained a lot of weight uh, since he's been here. And you can tell he's, like I told them, I said, we did exchange numbers, yes. Um, I told them, I said, He's definitely, like, his personality is definitely coming, um, no, Sierra, his personality is definitely coming out. I was like, he barks, he plays with his food, like, he plays with toys now and all of that. So, um, you know, I told them, like, where we found him and all of that and all the names people were suggesting. And they're actually going to go with the name Colonel Sanders. <laughs> they're going to keep that name for him, so... Colonel Sanders now has a home. And I told them, I said, by any means, if it doesn't work out, please text me, call me, bring him back. Like my doors are open if it doesn't work out. But yeah, his name's Colonel Sanders. And it's so crazy because I did not think it was gonna happen this quick. The most of anything I was gonna prepare to, you know, get used to him being gone by this weekend, if anything, but He's gone tonight, and look at that. Right when I was about to have a mental breakdown. <laughs> but yeah, his name is Colonel Sanders. Isn't that so freaking awesome? They're like, we were thinking that or Chicken Bucket. Or Bucket. Or, yeah, I think he said Bucket. Um, but yeah, so his name's Colonel Sanders. <laughs> it's so freaking funny. Oh my gosh, I can't. And Frank doesn't even give a fuck. <laughs> Frank's just like, I got my duck back. Look at him. He's like, I got my duck back. I got my mom back. He's like, I'm in heaven over here. But yeah, we exchanged numbers. So I'm going to shoot her a quick text of like his weight and how old this vet thought he was based on his chompers. Um, and yeah, I mean, they, they seem very sweet. And I've seen them around here since I've lived here. Um, but it's just, it's crazy how it works out, isn't it? crazy 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 how it works out but you could tell she fell in love with him immediately like she sat down and she she was out there with me for like 10 minutes and she just kept looking at her boyfriend or fiance or her husband i'm not sure if they're married or what but she was just like babe like look at him look how sweet he is and he ran right over to them um and then when it went to when he went to go leave he took one last pee pee on my floor and then they were like, all right, come on, little buddy. And he sat down behind me and he like didn't want to leave. But um, 
he's gonna be well taken care of. You can tell that they're a great couple. Um, and like I said, they have an eight-year-old dog. She's got ITP, so I'm sure like, you know, raising him at this age, they'll teach him to be gentle with her, if anything. Yeah, he's, he's gone, girl. What do you guys think of his name? Isn't that so sweet? There's a mosquito in here. A skeeter. Now you can rest, right? I would have named him Rody, being he was left on the road. <laughs> you saved his life and he will bring so much joy to them. I know, I was like, congratulations on buying a house and congratulations on a new puppy. Bye. <laughs> Um, I know, I think, I mean, the vet said that he was so malnourished and so just underweight, like, who knows how much longer he would have had, you know? Audrey, my neighbor's got the dog. Roadrunner, oh my gosh, that's funny. Yeah, I told him, I was like, he's definitely bringing out his personality. He's outside, jumping around, bouncing like a freaking, um, bunny. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Debbie. Josh was like, oh, man, I'll miss him because Josh didn't even get to say bye to him. But I told him I was like, once he's a little bit bigger, like we can have play dates. Maybe then Frank will care. Um, and I wonder if there, he's going to remember. You look relieved. No, I'm just super happy that like I don't have to stress about finding him a good home. Like I've never fostered a dog and I've never had to get a dog and find a home for them except for my dogs when i got injured and it's so stressful giving an animal to someone because you never know and it's just i'm relieved because like at least he's gonna be in the area and they know that they can come knock on my door or call me and i'll take him back you know hi sarah they named him colonel sanders they are tina it sucks but there are shitty people in this world that's a hundred percent certain but yeah colonel sanders is going to hove i wanted to take a picture with him before he left but like i said i'll see him again and they said they'll send me updates and i told him i said please let me know how he does tonight i was like he just sleep i gave him the box and the blanket and the dog food and the dew warmer and i was like all i do is just put this box upright and put him in it and because it's cardboard when he wakes up um you can hear him like scratching on it or jumping on it so that's funny they named him that i love it i absolutely love it and then Frank is just over here ecstatic. Like, it's crazy how happy you are that it's like he knows, like, okay, dude's gone. <laughs> like, that's sad, Frank. I can see the joy on your face. I think you should be a dog faster trainer. You're wonderful with dogs. No. No, ma'am. How did you find an owner? Debbie, it's my neighbor. He will always remember you, Anya. Yes, girl, it worked out great. He's going to have a brother or sister. It's a girl. I think their, their dog is a girl. But yeah, she has ITP, so that's what they were worried about. And that's what they said they needed to discuss. And I guess, I mean, they said, they were like, it's just crazy because we were literally looking to get a second dog. And then here you are with him. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> Me and the other neighbors, like the two other older ladies yesterday, we were like, come on, look, he likes you. He's jumping all over you. Like, you got to take him. <laughs> Rosalind, I have a bunch of pictures of him. But I'm just saying like a goodbye picture, you know? <sighs> yeah, he has a scent on the blanket and the box because that's been his little like safe spot at night and just throughout the day. So I was like, I mean, you can take this box with you. But I'm just saying like this has been his safe, safe haven since he's been here. And I was like, and this blanket, like he's slept on this blanket since since I've had him, literally since we've picked him up. Um, it was a huge weight on you and it's all lifted. He is a forever home and you made that happen. I know I'm so excited. Would you babysit him? For sure, when he's body trained. 
Um, he he cries to go out to go poop, but he doesn't cry to go out um, pee to go pee. But his bladder is so little, so it's gonna take a little bit. What is ITP? I have no idea. It's just like a blood thing where they don't heal as easy or something. I don't know. Not his homeless box. It's no ITP. The owner's taking him on Friday to the vet. But when I talk to an, when I talk to my vet, because the other vet that gave him the medicine wasn't answering, I let them know what he, they had they said, and they said that sometimes the pressure of having an expanded belly when it starts going down. It'll like, dang Frank, it'll cause for the for the pup to urinate or have more bowels. He's ten weeks, so, but yeah, I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know I couldn't wait until tomorrow, and then go live tomorrow and be like, you guys be like, what the heck? So. <sighs> Uh, Sarah, hi. Right, Elizabeth, isn't that so sweet? I'm gonna miss him too, of course, but oh man, I'm so relieved that literally like, I don't have to stress about finding him a home and being put on a time frame. Cause like I said, I didn't know how much longer until my apartment complex would be like, Miss Ma'am, why do you have another dog, you know? He liked his box. He did. He loved that thing. So, but I told him to send me um, an update of when uh, he gets settled and how he um, takes, you know, how he does for the night. And I told him, I was like, I mean, it took him two days to feel comfortable here and safe. So. You tell Kayla she's off the hook? Yes. It's a happy turnout. It definitely is. Great happy ending. And like I said, he's local, so that helps a lot. You'll sleep good tonight, girl. I might sleep less because I might be stressed on how he is there, but I think he'll be all right. You look so relieved. I am. I was stressing about finding a home for him. Because like I said, I've never been through this. And I, kn I know he was getting attached. And I mean, think about it. A week into it, I probably would have started getting super attached too. I mean, I almost fucking cried when he left, you know? Like, I sat here and tried to not name him so I wouldn't get attached. But being with him for the last four days, there is still going to be a little bit of attachment. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot easier than a few weeks being with him. Thanks, David. Hi, Mary. Hey, Melissa. Hi, Patricia. Is he going to be close to you if you wanted to visit? Very sweet. Yes. So, yeah. You got mommy back, Frank. Tearing up your duck. It is Keisha. So I just wanna, like I said, wanted to come on here and update you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for bed. My daughter said, we don't need a dog. We have you shaking my head. You what? Um, we're definitely gonna get updates, yes. And you guys can see pictures and all of that. They said they'll send pictures and keep me updated. And I told them to keep me updated about the vet visit on Friday too, so. I hope everybody has a wonderful night. Thank you guys for all of you guys that did reach out and gave me resources and references on where to go, what to do, blah, 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 as far as finding him a home, foster, or rescue. And it all worked out. It all worked out. We're going to have a wonderful night. And I guess we're going to see how big Mr. gets. All right, y'all. I hope everybody's having a wonderful week already. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Bye.